Hi lovelies and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today and a huge thank you to all of you new subscribers. Um, if you are watching this for the first time, hello, I'm Laura and I upload a video here every Friday covering all things fashion, beauty, interiors, lifestyle, it's a little bit of everything. And today I have a haul for you from my three favourite places, ASOS, Mango and Zara, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. So I'm going to start with this piece that I've got on, which is from ASOS. It's this gorgeous dusky pink crop top. Um, it's definitely more of an evening feel because it's kind of a satin material and it's got this gorgeous kind of like ruffling all over it. Um, I also said this evening because it's quite low cut and cropped. So I think it would be perfect for an evening out or a night out. I have got a little pin in it at the moment just to hide my modesty. But I think if you're going out on a night out and you're younger, you could probably put something really cute and lacy underneath and get away with it. Um, but for me, not so much anymore. Maybe if I was going out on a night out. Um, but you can also wear it during the day. I've been wearing it during the day. Um, and it's probably more on the cheaper side I'd say like as in it feels quite cheap but as I say it's an evening going out top and sometimes I think they can be a bit forgiving. I believe this one is from Miss Selfridge but I will double check that and put it up on the screen. I'll also do cutouts of everything for you today. I just thought that I would quickly show you guys this one on. I've just popped some heels on with it because I would wear it as a night out um, and as you can see it is quite cropped so you've got to wear it with um, cropped items but it's so comfy it's really flattering it makes me feel really nice um, as I said I've got it pinned so um, that's so easy to do or wear something underneath um, yeah I think this one's really fun so I'm just gonna grab whatever comes next from the pile and next I have these sunnies which are actually a little bit um, dirty already. They're this gorgeous tortoiseshell effect. Um, they're obviously not real tortoiseshell and I love that they're a bit more of a silver tortoiseshell and they've got a bit of a cat eye. Um, I believe that these are really reasonable too. I can't remember the price but I'll pop that up. Um, I think that these are great for transitioning through to summer because they've still got like the brownie tones um, and I feel like you can wear them when it's not really sunny outside like this kind of time of the year. Yeah, love those little ones. Next, I bought this faux suede trench coat from New Look. Got it in a size eight. Um, it looks about the right size, but I'll see when I try it on. Um, it feels like a really lovely material. It's super soft. I love the detailing on the arms. They've got these cute little bows, um, and it looks like it's gonna be a really nice length. So yeah. This one fits beautifully on. Um, it's quite slim fitting, but not at all tight anywhere, not tight on the arms. And I do love this little dirt bow detail here. I think that that's really sweet. I think it's the most practical coat as well, because I can see myself wearing this one now, perhaps even into summer, and then all the way through autumn. Um, it's probably too cold for winter, though. Maybe I could layer it in winter. Um, but I think I'll get so much use out of this one and make it a really, really practical coat. Next is this knit from Pretty Little Things. I fell for this one because of its neck detail and it's also got it on the bottom and on the sleeves. Um, I got it in a medium because I wanted it quite oversized. I love my knits oversized. Um, I hope that it's not too big because the weather is supposed to be getting much colder and um, I really think that I'll get a lot of wear out of this one now. And also because it's white, I think I can still wear it kind of into the spring season. This is probably one of the best spring polo necks that I've come across. I think it's because of the cutouts and it feels quite dainty and maybe with the white. Um, unfortunately, what I will say though is this is a size large. I'm sure that I ordered in medium, but maybe I put it in the wrong size. So it's too big, so this one will have to go back. I'm hoping that they still have a medium or a small for me um, because I think it's so perfect for this time of the year because apparently it's snowing again this weekend and I'm not wanting to go back to my dark, black and chunky polo necks, so fingers crossed they've got a smaller size. Next is a, another knit. Um, this one was put from Miss Selfridge. Um, it's got little ribs through it, which is quite sweet, and it's like a mohair, I'd say, kind of effect. Um, it's super soft, and I feel like this one's gonna be quite a flattering knit because it actually comes in at the um, wrist and also, I think, a bit at the bottom. So I'll give that one a try on and see how it feels. 
this jumper is just as soft as I had hoped. I feel like I will never want to take this off. It is super flattering with the arm, I think, um, and kind of like tucked in to some jeans. Um, just so comfortable. I love something that makes me feel great as soon as I put it on. And this one definitely did that, probably just because of the comfort factor though, it is so comfy. Not sure if this next one quite does it justice without it being on a hanger, um, but I believe this one was in the sale when I found it on ASOS. Um, it is from New Look, and again, I got a size eight. Um, what I didn't realize when I picked it up is that it does have little sequins on, which I actually quite like because I picked this one up because um, I'm going to a few birthday meals, and so I thought that this one would be ideal. It's got ruffles at the back, which is just my favorite, going right round the sleeves, um, and then it ties as a crossover at the front. Um, as you can see, I'm into these kind of like pinky mauve tones, um, and yeah, I think this one will be gorgeous for um, a nice meal. This one is exactly what I wanted. I think it would be perfect for the cocktails that I am going to. And actually, I really love the addition of the sequins. I think that they're so pretty. Um, it fits beautifully. I love the ruffle around the back. Um, it fits nicely around the waist. And the bow, there's enough room so that you can wrap it around if you want or just do one little bow or leave it down hanging. Um, really sweet. Colours are gorgeous and it's super flattering. This one is gonna be my birthday dress. I love getting a special dress around my birthday. Um, it just feels like a really nice time to get one and because my birthday is in March I feel like spring's just starting and it's all the pretty colours. So I chose this one um, from, let me just do it up, from Whistles. Mostly because of the lace. I adore lace and these sleeves are just Stunning. It's got it all around the front and the back is also really pretty too. Um, it then goes in at the waist and it has this pleated, if you can see, pleated skirt effect with the lace in the middle too. Um, and it's in this mint green colour. I know that not everybody will love that. I do think that it is better with a bit of a tan. Um, so I'll probably be pink tanning before I go away for my birthday. But I think this dress will be so nice coming up to summer and for summer weddings, um, and also it's such a classic style and shape. I'll have this in the wardrobe for years. This one is just so pretty. If you have any do's or weddings coming up this year, I think that this will be a stunning choice. Um, I love the lace, it fits beautifully, I feel comfortable in it. I feel like I could eat a meal in it, and I could also definitely dance in it. The pleated skirt is so pretty and sway, and that's exactly what I love in this kind of dress. Oh, and the back. The back is absolutely stunning. I love all of the lace detail. Um, so pretty on the arm and the back. So gorgeous. That was it for ASOS. So I think I will move on to Mango next. I can't quite tell what this one's gonna look like on. It is a MAC um, in the classic kind of cream color. It feels like really beautiful material, quite sturdy. Um, it's a little bit creased, so I need to give it an iron before I try it on and I think, yeah, I got this one in a small. Um, it looks quite unstructured, um, but I quite like that with Max. I love Max at this time of the year. I think they're perfect for spring and summer. We get so much rain in London. I'm just looking out the window and it was raining. So um, this one will come in super handy. I feel really torn with this coat. I really like the style. I quite like the fit of it. Um, I love the color, I love the buttons. I love that it feels so comfortable and I could wear it now with chunky jumpers underneath or right into summer. Um, the only thing that is stopping me loving it is that it creases quite a bit. And I don't know about you guys, but if I have a coat that creases and I wear it on a tube to get somewhere and then I just look like a wreck when I get there, I end up not wearing them. So I think that I'm going to try this one on, sit down in it, and see if it really does grease, and if it does, I probably won't be keeping it. It seemed to be really loving mint green at the moment, because this one is also mint green. Um, it's a pleated skirt with polka dots on. Um, as soon as I saw this, I thought I'd pick it up. Again, I thought that it could be quite nice for a birthday meal or a birthday lunch that we're going to. Um, I think it was a little on the pricey side. I'm not sure if it says on the tag. Yeah, it does. It was 50 pounds. So it was a little bit on the pricey side, but again, I think it's quite classic 
and I'll be able to wear this right from spring and all the way through summer. I think I could get away with it in autumn, um, but hopefully it will be quite a flattering style and not poof out at my hips, we'll see. If you guys follow me on Instagram and I will insert my name somewhere here, you will know how much I love this kind of outfit. And I actually usually find it really hard to find good quality pleated skirts on the high street, but this one is amazing. It's so flouncy, it's got so much movement, I just feel like I want to dance in it and twirl in it. It is absolutely gorgeous. These next two items were the reason why I did the mango order and I just fell so in love with them and they are summer items. So I've got this first summer dress um, and it is in a stripe, I love stripes. It's red and white, it's really fresh, um, but it was more the style for me. It is a midi dress, so it's quite long in the body and then it's got these gorgeous wooden buttons and it ties around the waist with a v-neck. Um, I hope that I love this one because I loved it so much on the website um, and I just think that this is the kind of dress, especially in London, I feel like sometimes I need a really practical, easy summer dress where I feel like I can sit on the grass and I won't be flashing anything or I can be walking around town and I don't feel too exposed or on the tube or what have you, so that's what I have in mind for this dress. Oh guys, I am dying for summer to come now so that I can hurry up and wear this one. Um, it is totally what I wanted, just the right length, really comfortable, perfect for popping into London, running errands. Um, I don't know if you've noticed but I have undone some of the bottoms, just so that it's a little bit younger, kind of like flows in the wind but it still gives me that length so I don't feel like it's too short. Um, yeah, it's like the perfect summer dress. Now this next one is kind of the opposite to that, it is a little sweet mini dress. Um, in a white linen with the most gorgeous little lilac cherries all over it. Um, it is a strappy top and almost kind of like a straight over bandeau feel. Um, I got this one in a small, I'm not sure how much it is, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. Um, I think that this would look really lovely with a denim jacket. It's probably more of a beachy summer item um, and I just can't wait to be able to wear these things now. This dress is so sweet. It's a really nice little summer dress. Definitely with the summer, I really feel like I need a tan and a summer holiday after putting this on. Um, but I think it will be ideal for any kind of holiday. Not sure it's perfect for London, but I still think you could get away with it with the parks and stuff. I'd probably pair this with a denim jacket and just some little sandals. Right, and now we are on to Sarah, last but not least. Um, so the first piece that I picked up, actually my mum chose, and I wore it straight away, so that's why it's looking a bit creased. Um, I have already worn this one. It is just so pretty. Um, it is so dainty and so gorgeous. Um, it's got these gorgeous polka dot, I don't even know what you call them, kind of embroidery pieces. It's got pom-poms all around the top um, and little frilled um, pieces on the top of the shoulder and on the sleeve. It's just so, so pretty. Um, and this one I know looks really flattering on, um, especially that v-neck I think helps at the front. I couldn't recommend this one more, I just am so in love with it and um, I never want to take it off. I'm sorry that this one is so creased because I don't think that it gives us justice at all. It is just so pretty, I feel amazing in it, it's so soft, it's not tight anywhere. Um, I quite like that it's slightly loose fitting and very airy and summery. Um, and I just every part of it has such gorgeous detail and it really feels like they've not cheaped out at all on this piece. Next up is a spring Sara coat in this gorgeous light camel colour. Um, again, <laughs> I have worn this one. Um, I just couldn't resist with these Zara bits. Um, it is quite boxy um, and it's quite a, I'd say, love or hate style. Um, it's very oversized and I think it has to be paired with things that are quite slim fitting on the bottom. Um, I wore it with heeled boots and I think it looked really lovely with that. Um, and then it's got this lovely button at the front, which is actually, actually plastic, but it's like a wood effect um, and little pockets. Um, it's a really sweet jacket actually. It's a nice um, size and I love that it's a light camel rather than like a yellowy camel. I think it quite suits my skin tone. 
I definitely think that not all of you are going to love this one. Um, it's definitely a bit of a love-hate and I think that you've got to quite like that sweet foxy style. Um, I would always have to wear it with jeans which is a bit of a shame, it doesn't make it overly practical. Um, but I love this kind of look that I've got it on with today and I think that I'll get loads of use out of it over the spring summer months. And I have another dress. Um, this one's more of a daytime dress. Um, I got it in a size small and it was $29.99. Uh, again, these frills, I'm obviously into frills. Um, and it's also got velvet in black, which I love because I love mixing navy and black. So that's what I'm hoping to do with this one. Um, again, it's a pleated bottom, but it's really flattering because it has a smaller pleat going to a bigger pleat. Um, I think that this is gonna be quite short, um, probably about knee length or just below. Um, but I think this is ideal because I can pair it now with tights and boots, but I'll also be able to wear it. I feel so at ease with this piece. I don't know what it is. I think it just feels like a very me outfit. Um, and I love something that I feel really put together straight away. And I felt that when I put this one on. Um, the fabric's really nice, it fits beautifully, and I feel like I could wear it day to night with drinks. I would probably still wear it with tights um, at this time of year, but I think that it looks really nice bare legged with boots. And the length is just right for me. I think if it had been any shorter, then I wouldn't have been able to wear it. Okay, last but not least is this super, super chic um, shirt blouse. I got it in a size small and it was $29.99 and it is just so gorgeous. It feels amazing and silky and it's kind of got a shine to it. I'm not sure if you can see with these buttons. Now, I love these buttons. They sit kind of like beautifully because it's quite tight on the arm. Um, I think that it'll sit beautifully and just look really sophisticated. Um, that's that's what I'm conjuring up anyway, so I hope so. Um, and I just keep this one really simple with the outfit. I think pieces like this in the wardrobe you can't go wrong with because they're so plain and classic that you can wear them with multiple things day to night and bring them out year after year. I feel so sophisticated and chic with this one on and I love any item of clothing that does that. This one feels so much more expensive than Zara. It's The fit of it is really beautiful. I love that the sleeves are slightly tighter down the bottom um, so that you get this ruching. I feel like that makes it feel really luxurious um, and also the material does too. Um, really gorgeous fit and I don't think I'll be willing to take this one off. Okay, so that was everything. I hope that you guys liked some of the pieces and that it gave you some inspiration for spring summer in those three shops. Um, let me know if you did like anything in the comments below, which were your favorites, and also which pieces that you didn't like. I don't mind you telling me. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Um, do subscribe if you are new here and I will see you all next week. Bye.